one. Up next on end of the day beer review, we're going to be looking at Snag and Drop. This is a triple IPA by Cape May Brewing Company coming in at 10% ABV. Check it out. Hi everybody, it's Rich and welcome to the end of the day beer review. And today, you know, it's the end of February and I want to go back to the Jersey Shore. Uh, so I am going to be looking at a beer from Cape May Brewing Company down on the Jersey Shore. This is my second favorite brewery down in Jersey. Um, and this is a triple IPA. You know, I, I keep saying on the channel, I'm not a huge IPA guy and I'm not, but I am finding that the double IPAs and the triple IPAs are much more palatable to me. Uh, this is Snag and Drop. It says it is dank and resinous with hints of pine and orange citrus. And it's coming in at 10% ABV. Um, I'm not going to read the back because it is, you know, sort of giving some more tasting notes. It does say that this would work best with, it's very strange what's on the can here, which I'm sure is not coming up on the camera, but it, like it says it pairs best with uh, a bed, a fish hook, and cake. So I don't know what the heck that means, but it's the first time I've seen uh, anything that said that I see no food except the cake and I don't know if I would you know go with a triple IPA as a you know dessert beer but let's crack this open and see what we get okay and I am using an IPA glass all righty So it does pour sort of a dark yellow. Um, it is, I poured that a little bit hard, so you're seeing like two fingers of head there. Uh, again, with the triple IPAs, I find they tend to look like the pineapple juice that comes out of the can. Um, but again, I'm so used to pouring like a heavier stout without so much carbonation that a lot of times when I pour the IPAs, I pour a little too hard and I get that type of head. Uh, let's check out the nose. Hmm. Unfortunately, I'm getting a little bit more of that hoppiness that I tend not to like in an IPA. So, you know, I'm hoping, again, Cape May Brewing, uh, Brewing Company is my second favorite brewery down in Cape May, uh, New Jersey. Uh, they do have one of my all time favorite beers, which is a honey porter that I have reviewed on this channel. If you see that, I would pick it up without a doubt. Um, they've done a couple of good, um, coffee stouts that have also been quite good and they have a fairly large distribution in new jersey so like you see them at a wegmans or you see them at total wine uh, i was actually out or my wife was out in new jersey just recently and she picked me up a four pack of this because she knew that i've been trying to check out some of the triple ipas the head has died down just a little bit let's give it a little bit more on the nose you know, I am getting sort of a pine tree type of aroma to it. Uh, I'm also getting, I'm getting citrus, but I don't think it's orangey citrus. I think it's more grapefruit. I'm sorry, not grapefruit, um, more pineapple. I'm luckily not getting, it's somewhere between orange and pineapple. And there's definitely that pininess that you get when you're walking through like a, a grove of like pine trees. So it's, it's not a bad nose on this, especially considering this is an IPA type beer. Uh, let's see what it tastes like. This is an easy drinking beer. I'll tell you that. Um, wow. Okay. So I'm getting a ton of orange. Um, and really, it's, it's almost like an orange zest on the back of the tongue. Um, that, those notes of like a pine tree or pininess, um, it's there. And I was worried that it would be off-putting because I've had like, you know, uh, pine needle tea and it is not my taste. Uh, there's just a hint of sort of that pine uh, aroma in, in this as you're drinking it. And I think it's coming more from the nose. But this is all orange citrus and it is so easy to drink. Um, there's not that off-putting bitterness that I normally get from a single IPA and sometimes on the double IPA. This is smooth as hell. Mm. 
the carbonation is nice, makes that citrus flavor sort of break open um, and you really get it on the back of the tongue. Now I'm not getting, I, I really do feel like I'm getting sort of lemon, uh, not lemon, I'm sorry, orange zest. Um, so there's a little bitterness, but it's not off-putting. It's actually quite enjoyable. And as you go in and you get into the flavor of it, the bitterness sort of disappears and it's all of that orange citrus flavor. This is a very, very enjoyable beer. It's a very easy drinking beer. And I have to tell you something. Uh, what I'm starting to appreciate about the triple IPAs is the high ABV. So this is 10% ABV and there's no burn here. Uh, in fact, this tastes more like a carbonated sort of like citrus beverage than it does uh, a high ABV beer. Um, this is very nice. What I'm finding more and more from the triple IPAs and the double IPAs is that if I need to get another serious stout drinker like I am into um, the IPAs or even to open up and try one of the IPAs, I would give them the higher ABV um, double or triple IPAs and let them try that first. Because for some reason, I don't know if it's the alcohol content, because like I said, I can't taste the booze in this, um, but it seems to mellow out that, that sort of bitterness. Now I have no scientific evidence for this whatsoever. This is pure speculation, but the lower the ABV on one of these uh, IPAs has been, the more bitterness, the more of that off-putting grapefruit flavor that I don't like seems to pop up. Whereas the higher the ABV, the more approachable the beer seems to be. Um, so with this particular beer, I have to say this is very, very good. Now I go down to the Jersey Shore every summer uh, and the shore is one of my all-time favorite places, I have to say. Um, and you know, it's, it's funny, um, I think I just found my summertime beer. Uh, because you can't always get um, there. Well, again, my favorite brewery down there is Gusto, hands down. But their distribution is at Gusto. It really doesn't go beyond their brewery. So finding their stuff means you have to be there. Uh, if you're in New Jersey, you can get Cape May Brewery material and their beers uh, basically at any major store that's there, which is very, very nice. So this might be my go-to IPA until I can get down to the Jersey Shore and hit Gusto. Uh, I have to say, I think that um, Cape May Brewing Company hit it out of the park with this one. This is a solid IPA. If you live in New Jersey, this is definitely worth checking out. Uh, Jersey has this annoying thing where they cannot ship their beers out of state. It's such a pain in the ass as far as I'm concerned because I would order more Jersey beers and have them delivered, but they just can't do it. So again, this is this is one that you would find in like uh, a Wegmans or a Total Wine or something like that anywhere in the state of New Jersey. And it's definitely worth checking out and picking up. Uh, again, and what does the can says? Profile, dark and resinous. Snag and Drop is a lupine laden beast with hints of pine. All right, hints. An orange citrus in the background. That's really, I think, the dominant flavor. This alluring triple IPA is packed to the gill with some of the stickiest and most pungent, uh, pungent hops. Snag and Drop is waiting to lure you in and snag you like a trophy fish. And damn if it didn't do that. You know, I have another three of these uh, in a four pack. These will not be beers that I... Um, you know, dump or regret having. I'm glad I have it. This is really good. And it's definitely worth checking out if you are in New Jersey or I think they also, uh, their distribution also goes into Pennsylvania. So definitely worth checking out. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the review. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe, throw a comment in there. If you've tried anything by Cape May Brewing Company, I'd love to hear what you think. If you've tried Snag and Drop, I'd love to hear about that too. Anyway, folks, have a good night. I'm gonna sit back, enjoy the rest of this. And I am just waiting, waiting for the summertime. I do have one more beer by Gusto in my fridge, and I think that's going to be my next review because I do. I need a little bit more of the Jersey Shore here in February. Anyway, folks, have a good night. Cheers.